All right, well going, guys. Well going, all my people. Today's video is going to be about SJ from OFB. So, SJ, we all know about the 2019 case, how my man went to Woodgoon Cinema with the same tracky that he wore in his videos. Like, well going, how could he be so stupid? That's all I'm going to say first. My man was so dumb. The same tracky that I wore in his tunes, he went on a ride out with. Then he wore it the next day. And I'm telling you guys, everything that I talk about in his videos, everything my man said here i want to thank sj for this because sj i'm not gonna lie bro these guys that go pen they turn real when they're in pen some of them and sj here i can tell he might turn real while, while he's in pen my channel isn't about uh, calling all these men out for being dickheads and all that sure some of them are dickheads some of them are cool man some of them i'm cool with and the thing is my man made a snapchat story and everything that i preach in these videos everything i talk about my man basically said here you get me but if it comes from sj's mouth you man are all oh yeah sj said this sj said that you man are all ready to hop on his dick but when it comes from me someone that works a normal job lives a normal life average guy you guys want to be all like oh yeah my man's a dickhead my man's rinsed my man's washed like i don't i don't have to kill no one though to get my message out there I don't have to commit these mistakes. Man's laughing. I'm laughing in my mortgage house right now. I never went to Wood Green Cinema that night. I was sleeping in bed, lying in bed, chilling on that night. I didn't have to go Wood Green Cinema. I was working. I was in college. I was doing my thing. But this video, I give the whole holistic remedy to this. I, I lay it out step by step. No one does this. No one on YouTube's doing this like me. I'm laying it out step by step cause for free as well. No, this is all the value man's providing to you, man. You should be lucky that you have someone like me around. Cause I didn't have anyone like this to teach me. All you gassed up youths, man's gonna teach you. You get me? So we're gonna talk about lamps right now. Lamps, what was he doing? He was posting World Green Cinema on his Snapchat. That's the first mistake man made. Man was posting, oh look, I, I'm out in the hood. Guys, after 7 p.m. don't go outside. This is the one, number one life hack. After 7 p.m. stay inside. Don't be in any block party. These block parties, they're all getting shot up. Don't go to, what's it, Carney. Don't go to that carnival, man. It's all getting shot up. It's all getting stabbed up. Mash ootings. You can't be safe no more. I was walking down the street the other day. Just walking to the shop, 7 o'clock. I saw five men ballied up five youths i'm not even in i'm not even from a rough area i'm from the suburbs i'm lucky i'm happy to not be from the ends i don't even live in the ends and yet there's five men with a bally on staring at me from across the street peds they've got bally peds i've seen a zombie knife flashed at me before and this is what i'm saying man we're living in a failed country a failed state because I can't even walk around. I'm not even from the ends. And yet, man's got <laughs> man's got trauma. But yeah, I'm going to break this down step by step. Because I know the mind of a young man. Um, I think I've told this story before. But I was chilling on the block when I was younger. Uh, two men walked over to me saying, Hi, bro. Do you want some chocolates? Do you want to join my gang? You can get all the girls. And what did I say? I mean, I'm lucky that I had a father figure. Someone that could teach me all these things. My mom cared about me. She gave me that self-esteem. And self-esteem is something I want to talk about here. Because when my son gets approached by two men, asking him if he wants to get gal, if he wants to be known as someone in the area, if he wants to be a top scorer for the gang, I'm going to tell him to tell them to fuck off. And now we're going to talk about SJ and the entertainment. Because my man was scouted by Arsenal. My mom was a rapper. And let's talk about entertainment. Because a lot of this stuff, it's not work. Rapping isn't a job. Football isn't a job. It's entertainment. It's the industry. And the thing about the industry is this is the prime way of how you get enslaved. As a footballer, as a basketball player, as a boxer. Boxing, guys, no one talks about this. Anthony Joshua was on the road. Anthony Joshua didn't want to work a 9 to 5. He was on roads, smashing work. He was a trapper. And we're going to talk about boxers and UFC fighters in the future because the, even these men are slaves. The same way that the rappers are slaves to the music industry, these men are slaves. And I'm trying to go against this message of the entertainment slavery. SJ could have been an engineer. He could have been a software engineer. He could have been an ICT consultant. But my man wanted pussy. He wanted holes. This is why he couldn't just sit in farm block in his yard and study for th three to four hours a day. My man wanted to go to the block party instead with double L's and band OK and Frogger. A lot of these young men, 
they think they're gonna get a girl from this this road life they see the podcasts and on the podcast the girl's talking about i only want a man that traps and sells hard food and fucks up his community you get me selling hard food to my man's mom over there and now we're going to talk about the bad boy the bad boy that's glorified so much in a culture you got lamps what was lamps he was a private school kid a private school youth with rich parents but what did my man want to do he, he wanted to be a bad boy and i don't know everything about what was going on in wood green i don't know his origin story or anything like that but i know that my man probably felt pressured pressured by his culture all this he didn't want to be seen as a private school youth he wanted to go out there make a name for himself and let's talk about nice guys let's talk about bad boys and nice guys because i know all these youtube videos all everything's the whole culture is glorifying bad man man that destroy the community sell hard food to man's mom this is what they glorify and this is what the women eat up as well this is what the women see as a high value man all this alpha male but the thing is my man ain't alpha male when he goes pen all them gal they, they're running away and this is what i'm trying to show you guys you guys are calling me rubbed out you man are calling me wet i'm not sleeping on my bed with one eye open right now clutching onto my pillow clutching onto the toothbrush with the little razor blade thing at the end of it waiting for my man to come in my room i'm not doing that you get me I, I can relax in my house in my yard so if i'm wet for that if i'm wet for causing no harm to my community then I allow it then i want to be wet allow it i don't want to be on job are you mad but this is how people fall into the trap they fall into the it's literally called the trap i'm trapping trapping how do you think it got that name and i just want to say anyone that's watching this whatever job you have if you're working at nine to five i want to say you man are way more free than any of these man the nine to five man are like the new rock stars the uber driver is a new rock star but let's talk about it man uber drivers they're doing such a service for the community you don't know what my man's doing it's freezing cold winter i'm so happy when the uber driver comes to pick me up in a nice heated car heated seats because man's always giving them big tips i know it's the uk and you don't have to give tips in the uk but man's always tipping the uber driver man's always asking the cashier in tesco how their day has been the thing is man talks about the nine to five i don't talk about businesses because nine to five a lot of you guys are young a lot of you guys are 18 19 20 and my videos they're towards the young men if you're an older guy too you're welcome here but to, towards the young men the best advice you can have is just work a nine to five work a normal job if you want to own a business sometime in the future it will happen but work your nine to five get experience in that field and build yourself up and then you can maybe start a business if you're a security guard you can own your security firm or if you're an electrician you can own your own self-employed electrician company and then employ people underneath you but it all starts with the entry-level position if you're not born into wealth bang uni bang trade school bang college i'm out peace